Is it too early to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever made? It's me again. Welcome back. Hopefully you're returning. And if it's your first time, hey. It's me. This video is going to be the first of a series that I'm hoping to start called I Try DIY, which you could probably see in the title. And it'll just basically be me, you know, trying weird trends for clothes I see on the internet or if I see something that I think I can make that I don't have to spend money on or just trying anything that happens to come to my brain to do like today's project let's start at the beginning so we can get back to where we are now I received this robe because I'm working with a robe I received this robe hmm, for Christmas maybe eight years ago it was a Target robe, I remember that, because it's exhilaration. And I wanted it so bad, because it was so fluffy and soft, and I didn't need it, and I never wore it, but I begged my mom for it, and she got it for me anyway. God bless my mom. And then, on my senior year of high school, I, I was gonna use it for a costume. It was holiday day, where you dressed up as a holiday, and I didn't realize our class was supposed to do Christmas, but, I did Easter and what my plan was is to make like a, a tail but really it was gonna be just like a fuzzy fanny pack type deal that I was just gonna wear backwards so I cut off the arms of this robe and tried to bleach them uh, and that didn't work so I ended up just buying a Halloween costume but anyways I just threw them in the box of costume things that I might maybe use whenever I occasionally cosplay, which you would see if you watched my other videos, but I just threw it in a box and I forgot about it. And then, hmm, maybe last week sometime, I got the idea of a jacket, like a jacket made out of the robe. I know what you're thinking. Actually, I don't know what you think, but I know what I was thinking is that that might be maybe top 10 stupidest ideas I've ever had, but I was committed. It, once it came to my head, I had to do it and there's no turning back. So that's what I did. So let's get started with the video. So the first thing I did is I collected all of the various pieces that this row was in. I, the, I cut off the bottom of the robe for something I don't know where that is disappeared not in my possession anymore so I had half of a torso and two bleached arms to work with and initially I was gonna make this like a little fuzzy crop top because I always see those and I want one and I thought that I could do that with this but the place where the belt was inserted is a little bit too high to cut above it to make a crop top so I was like okay if I can't do that then I, I still want to do something with it so I was gonna do a long sleeve shirt but then I realized because of the the way that it was hemmed that would look kind of stupid because it would just have two vertical lines going down the front where it was hemmed for the opening of the rope so I was like jacket perfect I could just incorporate all that right in so I took a sweater that I had and I used it to um, create a pattern for the beginning of the sleeve and for the body part of the jacket. I just used some wrapping paper and made two janky little patterns and then I cut them out and sewed them together and sewed the arms onto the body and that was, you know, the basic thing that I had. And it was around this time that I realized that it wasn't going to be a shirt anymore so I cut I cut more off the bottom and then I uh, started making the sleeves which I don't remember if I filmed or not but in case I didn't I um, took the leftover scraps from cutting the bodice part smaller and the sleeves and made uh, rings 
around and like shaped each ring to the part of my arm that it was going to sit on so I just made two identical pieces and fit them to each side and then sewed them on and then did two more rings did it on did it all the way down the arm and it stops around right here um with my arms down and it, it's a nice fit it's almost too tight in the biceps I shouldn't have made it so form-fitting I should have given myself some room to like be a human and not a doll you know so I created the sleeves and then I decided I wanted to add pockets on the front uh, so I took what little scraps I had left and pieced them together on the robe to create like a little collage in the size of the pocket that I wanted I hand sewed them all together and then I sewed the pocket to the bodice and then I sewed the hood on because the robe initially it originally had a hood so I just reattached it and I'm really sad because the robe also originally had um two like strings with fuzzy balls on them so I think I'm gonna buy some like ribbon or string or something and then fuzzy balls and recreate them because I really like them they're really cute I still need to buy a zipper for it and all that jazz but other than that it's pretty much done altogether it probably took around three or four days total for me to do it yeah and without further ado for your viewing enjoyment or displeasure here is my creation yeah, I really like the way that it turned out. It, like I said before, it's really cozy. It's nice. Um, I will probably wear it underneath my denim jacket that um, I wore in my last video, which you can check out if you click the card that just popped up. But yeah, I, re I really like it. I like. I thought the hood was gonna be too like tight on, on my head. Like you know, sometimes you buy something and the hood of it will just be like like way too tight and too close to your head but it's really roomy and nice and um the arms like I said are a bit too tight when I bend my arms but it's not like a big huge deal but um yeah I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna get like a purple zipper or a black zipper but yeah I really really like the way it turned out I it's it's giving you like if Barney and the breakdancing dude from the Doodle Bops collaborated on a fashion item, I feel like this this is what they would come up with. But anyways, yeah, that's everything I have for this video. I'm gonna try to upload every Wednesday. Feel free to hold me to that, all two people who are watching. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next Wednesday because I I don't care about these people. Whoa, that look cool. It's like a fish eye. Okay, anyways. Yeah. And if you're for if ugh. But anyways, I...